Hello and welcome to a new video about programming Arduinos. This time we want to read in a digital input and process it. As input source, we are using this push button. We'll place the push button simply somewhere on the breadboard. Well, and then we have to connect the stuff. Yeah? I will simply use again here plus 5 volt. Yeah? I will connect it to here, the plus 5 volt. I will use ground as well. Uh, come on, ground. I will connect it to here. Uh, and for my convenience, for my and your convenience, I will place those ground and plus also here. I will connect simply to the other side, ground and plus. So everywhere I have now plus 5 volt and ground. This is not the worst idea, I would say, huh? because then we have access from all sides. Well, what we want to do, we are connecting plus 5 volt to one side of the push button, okay, and the other side of the push button we are connecting to an input pin. Huh? So this is already this line from here to an input pin I can select I will use number four for instance as button pin. Uh, so I would expect whenever at four I am if I press this button at four I have high yeah uh, or true. This should work. Okay. This uh, I think you can you can understand what I do. Then I will use again uh, LED. Here's the LED. We are again having to use a resistor, of course. And of course, we have to plug the LED also to somewhere. And for the LED, I will again use pin number two as before. Yeah. So this is now a hardware setup. Whenever the thing we, I want to code is, Whenever I press the button, yeah, the, it shall be read in by the Arduino. The Arduino shall turn on the LED. Yeah. If I release the button, it shall also be recognized by the Arduino and the Arduino shall turn off the LED. So actually the same thing we had when we tested the button, but with the help of a controller, of our controller. Now let's switch to the computer for the program, yeah, for the software. So I have already started the Arduino IDE, I have already opened a new sketch, yeah, we are ready to start. I will save this now, save as, yeah, programs, save this under a decent name, name, and now we are ready at 4. I will call this button in, save. Okay, so we have this. We're starting again with defining the, our compile time constants. Yeah? So we I'm defining now the LED pin. Yeah? This was pin number two, as before. Yeah? And I'm defining also the, the button pin. Yeah? And this was pin number four. I'll make it look decent. Nice. Define LED pin, define button pin. Now in setup, we already know we have to use pin mode uh, and the LED pin is of course an, an output as before, output I said, uh, and well if there's an output there's an input as well. So I will copy this, use it with the button pin and instead of output I will write input. Okay, now the, the pin number four is defined as an input. It's as easy as that, really. Yeah. So, what we're reading in yeah, is an integer, which is either zero or one. An integer is a number without comma. Yeah. To define an integer value, yeah, I have to use int yeah, for integer, and I have to give the variable a name. Yeah. And this is 
button state. I want to read into this a button state. This button state shall reflect the state of the input pin. And well, we use digital write. What is the corresponding command, you think? Digital read. Okay. Digital read. Ah, it's getting read. Correctly written. And we need the pin number. Well, and the pin number is hiding be be behind the button pin. Huh? So it's pin number 4. Now, in button state is either 0, if it's reading in logically false, or 1, if it's reading in logically true. Okay? So, I can use if button state. Yeah? So, if it's true. What shall happen then? What shall happen? Yeah? Digital write. I will use the LED pin again. And this will write one. Okay. And then else digital write LED pin zero. Okay. This is pretty straightforward, right? Should work. Yeah. We can comment it again. Yeah. So here we write use LED pin as an output. This makes the programs always very decent. With these little programs, it's not really necessary, but you should you should um, do it to get used to it. Yeah. Read status of button. Yeah. Because then, if button is pressed. Turn on LED. Yeah. If button is released, turn off LED. Because then it's really clear what you thought. Yeah. Code needs to be maintained. Yeah. So somebody after you, or maybe you, in a year or two years, you have to look into your own code. And if you then do not know what is happening, or worse, if you're looking into the code of somebody else and you don't know what he thought or he or she ah, commented, then it's easier. Okay? So save it. Connect this. Connect the Arduino to the computer. and upload. See what is happening. It's lit. It's already lit. Huh? It's already lit. Press the button. Huh? It's getting brighter. Do you see this? Now for you it's there's no difference. What is happening here? What is happening? Oh! Have you seen that? Here, something is happening. What if I'm connecting to minus? Then it's off. Stable? Yeah. What if connecting to plus? Then it's on. And if I'm connecting not at all? Hmm. It's flickering somehow. Why is that? Why is that, huh? If you have reached this, this is how it looks like. This is, unfortunately, with this method, yeah, you cannot 
solve this? Why is that? We'll be explaining in the next video. Okay? So next video, I show you why this is. Yeah, you can meanwhile you can think a little bit about it. Yeah. And see what where went something wrong. Huh? It's a pretty forward, straightforward approach. But in the next video, I will explain where it was wrong. Huh? For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.